in the foreign policy world we use very fancy terms so it helps you know that's how we we, we uh, keep everybody else uh, sort of uh, uh, listening to us and uh, believing in us just apply common sense yardsticks take trade take investment take technology take education take tourism use these yardsticks and map the relationships when you talk of india today right they said it couldn't be a better time to be young and to be indian you know the ability for india also now to play a much larger role globally right i maybe you know again going a little but if you were younger i mean not that you're, you you're you're still a youth icon in, in in this country you were younger in india or you were a young american like you know you understand both sides how how should the youth of the two countries view this relationship what what where 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 can you know they play a larger role look i i think the youth have been indicating their preference for some time it's just that the non youth haven't been listening <laughs> and and you know i've been look, you, you know you mean the I, old people the seniors <laughs> uh, look, you know look i i'd actually put it very differently uh, uh some time ago when i was first uh, involved in writing a book one of my points was that uh, there is a official foreign policy kind of formulation you know strategizing then there is a view of foreign policy from the street and if you look at the street sentiment about the united states i would argue that street sentiment about the united states changed way before official sentiment about the united states changed and in many ways and i i you know at critical moments uh, in fact when they were uh, very uh, i would say how very animated debates uh, uh, in this country uh, on you know what we are doing uh, uh, the, the those arguing for a stronger relationship with the united states could visibly see that they were getting very strong public support so i i think uh, i would mean, look in the foreign policy world we use very fancy terms so, i mean it helps you know that's how we we, we uh, keep everybody else uh, sort of uh, uh, listening to us and uh, believing in us but just apply common sense yardsticks okay take trade take investment take technology take education take tourism okay what does this is an average person's ask of the world i mean i don't know if there's anything else i missed out okay maybe culture uh, you know what do you see uh, or at your social media use these yardsticks and map the relationships i think you make a very strong case for a very strong india us relationship and i think at the end of the day believe me youth have much go much more by study common sense the older we get we muddle our heads with too many complex thoughts subscribe to midday india Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.